Hello Active Traders and welcome to Trading Week Ahead. I'm Ken Calhoun from Trade Mastery. As always, all information is for educational use only. Try my live trading room at tradingopen.com. So let's start off by taking a look at our S&P and see where we're at. Markets had been relatively haphazard in selling yesterday despite a late day spike. Uh, big pitch of the market continues on up. We can see Relative, relative strength in yesterday's close. Uh, but overall, the market sold off yesterday a bit, got a bounce, sold off again, and then a big rally into the, into the closing part of the session. And we like to focus on charts that have really good directional volatility, uh, like UABS is a good example of one for intraday, right, going from 3 to 4. LAZR, nice end of day spike. And so forth. Uh, we do cover instruments almost always under 40 or 50 dollars a share, uh, and most of them are down uh, under 20 or 30 bucks. So, relatively inexpensive instruments to look at. What, what we want to look at is consistent breakout strength. Now, some charts like this LAZR would not be. At least I don't like to swing trade things like this. I'll day trade these, but swing trading no because the uh, the trend is not consistent. It's a breakout, a mean reversion pivot. Instead, I like charts, for example, like uh, PLUG is a good example of one that has a consistent uptrend. Schwab's another, SCHW. You may want to pay, keep track of that one. Riot and others out there. There's many that we cover. We blaze through our pot stocks. One that I'm, I'm long all of these. I, I'm, I've got kind of a cannabis portfolio of instruments. A GRWG, a, that's growth generation. A nice continuous uptrend again, going from a base around 18 or 20, doubling up to 20 bucks a share. Here's CURLF. I'm not going to go through all of these, but. You get the picture. We like charts that are relatively focused and clean and consistent consistently going up uh, without too much in the way of deep pullbacks or indecisive price action that's difficult to trade. When you're looking at developing a trading strategy, one of the things that I found uh, helps me do well with my trades that work out are ones that can be position sized or scaled into. You know, and for a good example of one that would have been a great play since the March lows would have been one of our ETFs that we've covered uh, T triple Q. If you look at the six month on that, you can see why it's noteworthy. Let's back that out to the year chart. Noteworthy, it's gone from a base of just around 35 or 40 a share, quadrupling in value up to 170. Now, this is a, a bearish engulfing for the fellow candlestick traders out there. You can see it's confirming a prior resistance area near one. Just under 180 here. But anyway, bearish engulfing is a, a bear signal. This is in our uh, T triple Q long bias ETF. And it's been a really good runner going a multiple since the March lows. Now, when you're looking to develop a trading plan yourself, one thing that I think can really help you is developing a short list. I mean, I maybe this isn't too short, but a relatively focused list that's not too long and figure out which of the charts for swing trading using a 90-day candlestick chart, daily chart is really good. If we compare and contrast some of these, you can see some that have been popular with some traders like Carnival Cruise Lines would have been difficult to swing trade because look at the pullbacks. Look at all the red candles. That would have been very difficult to swing trade while in comparison, if you look at something like NEO, it had a little more consistency. Plug was even better. And so forth and so on. INO had been one that had run quite a bit intraday. Some charts are good for day trading, but not good for swing trading. So the main thing that we want to focus on are charts that have consistent breakout runs. For example, like GRWG. 
It would have been hard to get stopped out. Not impossible, because there were some pullbacks, but it would have been easier to scale or position size into this chart than others that have more random haphazard up and down patterns. You know. Riot's a really nice one. It's having a riot of a time going from 4 to almost 12, almost tripling in value. Blockchain. R-I-O-T, the ticker. SCHW, another great consistent runner going from a base of 34 up to 52. So anyways, the point is you're looking for charts that have really good directional volatility week after week and don't have major pullbacks or other troublesome challenges in their chart pattern. So those are good for uh, for swing trades. For intraday, we want charts that have reasonably strong focused gaps that run. Whether you're looking for charts like this one, CNSP, like pre-market it runs up, then in market it crashes and burns. Is it worth trying to bounce? Usually not. Often these ones that start off strong, a quick bonus tip here on how not to trade cheap stocks, usually the ones that uh, run up in the pre-market just kind of chop and drop and little what we call dead cat bounces. Bad kitty, bad kitty, dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce. Just say no. Well, we want a charts that hit and run that have really good directional momentum that run up for quite some time. Those are usually charts over five or ten dollars a share. Another thing to be on the lookout for is end of day spikes, like this chart, L A Z R. You can see it ran from 26 and a half up to 27 and a half, a one point run into the close. And what you do is you just kind of constantly click through your charts and put them under surveillance and see which ones are breaking to a new bullish cup pattern high or high over whole number or previous intraday high, high of day breakouts. So those are usually a little bit late. What you want to do is focus on the ones that have strongest directional volume and volatility. Here's an example of a cheap chart under five dollars that does look really good and I'm going to trade this myself come Monday if it does anything exciting like get up over 440 or crash and burn to a 3 and then do a pivot but you can see this guy ran from 320 all the way up to 420 so ran a full point before a big afternoon reversal and the trick is or one of the challenges is you can scalp the open which is a classic <laughs> trident uh, favorite uh, open range breakout play and you can do a scalp trade on the open that's fine, but my preferred play to trade, my preferred way to trade is first of all, make sure you're waiting until it gets above the previous day's high for long. So for example, you know, 340 would be a good place for long. Put a protective stop under the pre-market low, like say at 310, and then just let it ride until the very end of the day, till around 345, 4 o'clock and see where you're at. And if you'd done this for a scalp open, You'd have made a little bit, which is fine, but if you had done a more leisurely intraday swing trade, an all session long trade, uh, you could have, you know, almost doubled your, or as much as doubled your profits uh, compared to, you know, buy 340, sell 370. That's only a 30 cent run. If you'd bought 340, sold, you know, 380, 390, uh, that would have been a up to 60, 70 cent run up here. So, anyway, put on the trade in the morning, put the stop under the low of the day and then come back in the afternoon and see where you're at. One thing, the last tip on this strategy is check in around lunchtime and if you have something that's a nice skyrocket it's run up you know sharply during 11 you know up until 11 or 12 often you have the opposite of a v-shape recovery and this is an a-shape parabolic arc and so uh, between 11 and 12 is one time where I will often scale out of or close out my trades entirely uh, with by virtue of using either trailing stop or an automated hard stop that I set once I see it spiked up sharply. This is what I call buy the dip, sell the rip, right? Uh, Maybe pulling back or something that's dropped and starting to break out. You buy the dip and then sell it off of a pivot high. So those are the kind of charts to focus on. One thing that's the bane of traders everywhere is always false breakouts. Another thing you want to focus on are quick last tip here, things like UVXY on red market days or selling market days. I was trading this from 1090s where I bought it on Friday and did well with it despite the fact that it pulled back into the close. So 
things like UVXY or SQQ often provide a good place to trade when the markets are selling off. So we cover these and more in my live room at Trading the Open and I certainly encourage all of you to give it a try and we've expanded it to cover both swing trades as well as stocks under $10 like that UIVS chart. So uh, do be sure to join me again at tradingtheopen.com. Uh, you can join the annual plan and save over half off uh, or the monthly is just $197 month to month and we meet five days a week Monday through Friday uh, from 9 till 1030. So hope to see you there at tradingtheopen.com and best wishes. We've got a wild market ahead. It's always good to trade the end of year You've got tax loss selling, you've got portfolio window dressing, you've got all kinds of price action moves to capitalize on the markets. And I'd certainly appreciate being uh, a trusted resource for you, not only in these free videos, but if you want to join and get much more in-depth step-by-step entry and exit calls live in real time and charts of your choice. And that's another feature that I offer my traders is I don't say well, my way or the highway. Uh, in fact, the opposite. I welcome charts because oftentimes my traders come up with charts that are even better than mine. I've got lots of smart traders in the live room. So with an active community that's all eyes and ears looking for the best breakout setups, uh, you know, it's a team effort. So certainly uh, you can ask about, hey, Ken, what about this chart? What do you think? And I can tell you if I would trade it and if so, where I would enter it and how I'd manage risk in terms of a stop as well as an exit target region and that might be based on the average true range or prior days uh, high and low if it's an inside chart or an out uh, gap continuation chart and we we cover many different instruments and uh, all stocks under 30 40 bucks a share so anyway see at tradingopen.com best wishes for success and I wanted to wish all the best for a happy and safe holiday season as we go into a very hazardous time in human history with the pandemic do stay safe and I wanted to wish you the best. So see you in the live room. Join now and best wishes for success in your trades.